Hello friends, this video on waves part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 20 before going ahead with part 21. Now let us proceed and look at a system which is closed at one end. When I talk of a system which is closed at one end, that means at one end node is formed. Always remember this, closed end means node is formed at that end. And if it is an open end, then anti node is formed. Okay, so now here I say that the system is closed at one end. So here also we will find out the values of the restricted wavelengths first, like how we did in the previous case. So we say standing waves on a string of length L, which is fixed at one end, have wavelengths given by, let us look at this. So now let us suppose that this is the fixed end. This is the fixed end and this side is the open end. Right, and there you have a string. So now at the closed end, let us suppose the closed end is at x is equal to 0 and this open end is at x is equal to L. So that means at x is equal to L, what will be formed? Antinodes because it is an open end. Antinodes will be formed and antinodes correspond to maximum amplitude. Right? So what is the condition for formation of antinodes that is equal to x is equal to n plus 1 by 2 lambda by 2, right? This is the position of maximum amplitude. So now when x is equal to L, we can write it as L is equal to n plus 1 by 2 lambda by 2. So from this you can write lambda is equal to 2L divided by n plus 1 by 2. So this expression it itself shows that the values of wavelengths are restricted. That means wavelength just can't take any values. It has to follow this expression. Only if this expression is obeyed, those wavelengths values are allowed. Now here the values of n which can it can take is 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Because here for n is equal to 0, this is a valid number. So here n starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So the corresponding frequencies in this case would be, let us find out the corresponding frequencies that is nu is equal to v by lambda where v is nothing but the speed of traveling wave. So from here we can write v by 2l n plus 1 by 2. So now here also these frequencies will tell us the different modes of oscillations in case of a string which is closed at one end but opened at the other end. So now with the help of this expression we will find out the various modes of oscillation. So first of all we will talk about the fundamental frequency or what we know as the first harmonic. So when we talk of fundamental frequency n corresponds to the lowest possible value and here the lowest possible value is 0. So when n is equal to 0 what is the value of the fundamental frequency? It becomes V by 2L into 1 by 2. So that is equal to V by 4L. So this becomes the value of the fundamental frequency. Right? Now depending upon this fundamental frequency, we will find out the next harmonics. So the next harmonics which we find are known as odd harmonics. Why odd harmonics? Let us look at that. So this is our fundamental frequency. Now let us calculate the next frequency that is value corresponding to n is equal to 1. When n is equal to 1, what will be the value of frequency? This will be nothing but v by 2l, v by 2l, 1 plus 1 by 2. So that is equal to 3v by 4l. Now let us calculate the value for n is equal to 2. The frequency will be v by 2l n plus 1 by 2. So this becomes 5v by 4l. Now let us calculate for n is equal to 3. So the frequency becomes v by 2l 3 plus 1 by 2. So this becomes 7v by 4l. So what do you observe here? Here you can see that the fundamental frequency is V by 4L. 
all of these are odd harmonics of the fundamental frequency that is let us suppose if the fundamental frequency is denoted by if i denote the fundamental frequency by new naught then this becomes 3 new naught this becomes 5 new naught this becomes 7 new naught which are all odd harmonics these are all odd numbers so as you go on you get all odd harmonics that is why it is called that for a system which is closed at one end and open at the other end you get one fundamental frequency and all the odd harmonics so how would they look like so when i talk of the fundamental frequency it would look something like this suppose let us suppose here know this form and this is the open end where you get antinode. Now when I talk of n is equal to 1, you would get somewhat like this. So this is the closed end and then you get antinode at the open end. Similarly as you go ahead, you would get figures like this, right? I don't think that now it is any more confusing. It is just a simple logic. Nodes at rigid ends and antinodes at open ends, right? So till now I was deriving things, right? In the next slide, I will show you how you can just link up or how you can just derive the relation just by looking at the diagrams or how you can relate things more easily with the help of diagrams even without memorizing the formulae. There is no need to memorize things like x is equal to n lambda for nodes, x is equal to n plus 1 by 2 lambda by 2 for antinodes. No need to memorize things. I will just tell you a tip which will be easier to remember just by looking at the diagrams. Let us see how. So that we will study in this review screen where I have drawn the diagrams for all the three kind of systems. The first one is, which is, this is a system which is closed at both ends. So here both ends are closed. That is why you can see for all of them, nodes are formed at both the ends. Right? Nodes are formed at both the ends for all these. Similarly, the, this blue diagrams, they represent systems which are closed at one end. So you can see that node is formed at one end while on the other end you have antinodes. So on the other end or at the open end you have antinodes. And here in the lower half I have represented a, a system which is open at both ends. So since this system is open at both ends therefore you have antinodes at both the ends. Why I have drawn so many diagrams? Because I have represented the different harmonics. So when I come here, I look at the first figure. What is the wavelength that is covered by this wave? It is just half of a wave, right? It, it is not the complete wave. If you just look at the upper half, it is half of a wave. So that means what is the wavelength here? This wavelength is nothing but lambda by 2, right? So this wavelength is lambda by 2. So this wave corresponds to a wavelength lambda by 2. In the next figure, if you see, it represents a complete wave. So here you have 2 into lambda by 2. That is lambda. Here you have, this is lambda by 2 and here you have 3 times the lambda by 2. That means 3 lambda by 2. Here you have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times lambda by 2. Similarly, here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times lambda by 2. So basically what is the pattern that it is following? When it was, this was its first harmonic, right? This was the first harmonic, this was the second harmonic, this was the third harmonic, this was the fourth harmonic and this was the fifth harmonic. So what is the pattern it is following? It, the pattern it is following is lambda by 2. If for first harmonic it is lambda by 2. For second harmonic it is 2 lambda by 2. For third harmonic 3 lambda by 2. That means for nth harmonic it will be n lambda by 2. So that means the general expression in case of nodes is x is equal to n lambda by 2. Right? Similarly, when you come to the scenario where it is closed at one end, what do you observe here? 
So therefore, in this case where you have x is equal to n lambda by 2, you, you derive the expressions, right, which I have already derived, the fundamental frequency and the uh, fundamental mode and the various different the different harmonics and all this stuff right why i am telling this is sometimes it is very useful in solving numericals sometimes you are given a numerical where they will just draw a figure and they will tell you uh, that uh, find out the distance between two nodes or find out the distance between a node and an anti node every time you will not get so much of time to derive everything you cannot just start from the beginning so sometimes it also becomes easy to interpret certain things by just by looking at the diagram now when we when i talk of the system which is closed at one end and open at the other end what do you see when i look at the first figure how much wavelength that does it cover it is not even lambda by two it is lambda by four because it is even half of lambda by two right so this corresponds to lambda by four right when i look at this figure it is again this is lambda by four this part is lambda by four plus you have lambda by 2. So this figure corresponds to lambda by 4 plus lambda by 2. Now when you look at the third one, what is it? It is again, this is lambda by 4, this part is lambda by 4. So you have lambda by 4 plus 2 times lambda by 2. So if you look at this pattern, this pattern, the, this pattern corresponds to n plus 1 by 2 lambda by 2. So this it follows this pattern. Now again when you look at the system which is open at both ends what is the pattern it follows? If you look at the first one that is the first harmonic this corresponds to first harmonic, this corresponds to second, this corresponds to third, this corresponds to fourth. So the first harmonic if you see this is lambda by 4, this part is lambda by 4, this part is lambda by 4. So together it is lambda by 2. Second one, if you see, this is lambda by 4, this is lambda by 2, this is again lambda by 4. So together it is lambda. So if you look at lambda or you can write it as 2 into lambda by 2. Right? Here if you see 1, 2. So 2 lambda by 2 here you have. This is lambda by 4, this is lambda by 4. Which is together 3 into lambda by 2. Similarly, in this figure, if you see 1, 2, 3, so 3 lambda by 2 here, plus lambda by 4, plus lambda by 4. So that is 4 lambda by 4. So if you look at this pattern, this pattern is similar to the pattern which we discussed in case of closed at both ends. So here also the pattern is n lambda by 2. So the expert, so when we talk of a system which is open at both the ends, it is basically equivalent to a system which is closed at both ends. However, in this case, at both the ends, anti-nodes will be formed. That is true. But mathematically, a system which is closed at both ends is equivalent to a system which is opened at both ends. The reason why I am telling this to you is so that while solving numericals for a system which is open at both ends, you don't confuse yourself with new facts and new derivations. Whenever you have a system which is open at both ends, mathematically everything will go similar to a system which is closed at both ends. Because the number of nodes and the number of anti-nodes in case of these two scenarios correspondingly become the same. Or no, I won't say same but they are equivalent. Right? So what the only difference is for example if you compare the first harmonic of a system which is closed at both ends and the system which is closed, which is opened at both ends. What do you see? The number of nodes there is 2 and here the number of anti-nodes is 2. The number of anti-nodes is 1 in the first case. The number of nodes is 1 in the second case. So individually the number of nodes and the number of anti-nodes varies but otherwise the end calculation remains the same. So you can use the same expressions for a system which is opened at both ends. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.